Hello dear students, good morning. Today we start Ecology 2nd and uh, this is my 6th lecture. So we will start from ecosystem, ecosystem of different types. Ecosystem is the fundamental unit in ecology comprising the living organism and the non-living ele elements interacting in a certain defined area. It is a fundamental system which include organism of a natural community together with their environment. That's all of the population of organisms living in a certain area plus their physical environment is uh, uh, called uh, an ecosystem. Trophic structure. What is a trophic structure? Energy in an ecosystem is vitally important to support the activities of all living organisms. Solar energy is the sole energy source on our earth. So we see uh, trophic structure is uh, very much uh, what you call correlated with energy source of the sun, solar energy. Uh, now we see what is biomass. Biomass is the entire assemblage of both animals and vegetables uh, of uh, an ecosystem of a particular geographical region considered collectively. It is the dry weight of living matter including stored food present in a, in a species uh, a species populations uh, uh, that is population of a species and express in terms of a given area or volume of the habitat uh, is biomass food chain food chain uh, is uh, anything which when taken into body serves to nourish or build up the body tissues or to supply heat is called food or nutrients uh, uh, food chain is uh, the transfer of energy from plants to animals and then to other animals by successive stage of feeding. We can define food chain in another way that uh, 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 a series of stages uh, of being eating or eaten by uh, animals uh, and, uh, and plants uh, uh, from the source of producer that is green plant so food chain is very much uh, an integrated what you call interdependent uh, uh, what you call factor in an ecosystem here we see that sun energy is the sole uh, source of energy in the universe uh, producer that is photosynthetic plants or Autotrophs uh, uses this uh, solar energy and uh, makes their food. Uh, so green plants are called as self feeder or eater and uh, 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 stored food in the plants uh, are consumed by uh, primary consumer for example a caterpillar eating the leaf of the trees and uh, secondary consumers uh, or secondary uh, type of character in food chain is uh, uh, a birds which uh, which is eating a caterpillar from the trees. Here we see a simple diagram of a food chain that is um, grass or wild flowers as producer are producing the food items for the uh, rabbits. Uh, mouse or snakes. So ra uh, mouse and rabbits are primary consumers and uh, snakes also primary consumers and hawk at the top of the uh, what you call um, diagram is a hawk or a prey bird which are eating snakes or rabbits or even mouse. Just uh, That is why it is uh, hawk is a secondary consumers in the food chain so these uh, three characters uh, that is producer uh, primary consumer secondary consumers are integrated 
in an ecosystem uh, in a food chain. So it is a linear sequence of organisms through which energy, energy is transferred in an ecosystem from producer through several levels of consumers. Uh, another definition of food chain. In this feeding relationship scheme by trophic levels which unite member species of biological community. So we see that a food chain is a very integrated uh, system in a community. Again another diagram of food chain is uh, uh, in is uh, oceans or marine food chain in which uh, phytoplanktons uh, uh, are <coughs> the producer and uh, a small floating uh, algae or green plants are phytoplanktons, uh, uh, zooplanktons are floating or surface animals uh, of the sea which are consuming phytoplanktons, the floating algae and uh, zooplankton small animals are eaten by uh, fish larvae which are primary consumers and fish larvae are uh, eaten by uh, other uh, marine organisms or smaller fishes uh, they are uh, also primary consumers and uh, uh, small fishes are eaten by uh, shark or biggest or largest fishes, uh, marine fishes, so they are called as uh, secondary consumer. Uh, so this is uh, a small simplified food chain of ocean. What is food web? Food web is actually uh, a network of different food chains or uh, interlocking of different food chain is called as food web. Complexity inter uh, complexly interconnected food chain is called a food web. Feeding relationship in ecosystem are very straight chain. Many type of organisms can occupy one level and one type of organisms may feed at different trophic levels. Depending on its prey, an animal can be a second tropic level consumer or a higher tropic level consumer in an ecosystem. So uh, here is a food web in a forest and uh, we see that green plants and uh, goat, uh, autotropic green plants is feeding, uh, is uh, fed by goats rabbits and uh, mouse and uh, these uh, primary consumer are uh, eaten by owls, uh, wild cat, snakes and eagle or jackal is eating goat or rabbits and, uh, and uh, wild cats are eaten by lions that is uh, segments of food chains are interlocked uh, or interconnected uh, uh, as a whole uh, here in this diagram so it is called a uh, food web uh, forest food web so food web is uh, uh, an uh, 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 interlock interlocking of uh, so many food chain or internet of food chains is called as uh, food web. Here is another diagram of food webs uh, in which uh, we see that uh, uh, autotrophs A uh, indicated by A, herbivores uh, H or carnivores C and detrivores uh, uh, eating on dead and decaying matters. B and detritus D that is uh, eating detritus are uh, eating on deposition of uh, sediments uh, and uh, uh, all these animals are just you know dying and then 
depositing and uh, decomposer are unlocking their mm, uh, uh, body elements uh, and circulate it. Solid, uh, solid arrows uh, indicates uh, interlocking of these uh, uh, what you call uh, mm, animals uh, uh, with main character autotrophs and uh, uh, dash arrow indicates and their uh, complementary relationship in the uh, food web uh, uh, functioning and uh, so it is a beautiful example of food web so we see that in a food web a modified food chain shows a feeding relationship at various changing tropic levels now another topic biological factors of the ecosystem the biotic environment concern all kinds of living organisms which an organism comes into contact with and so an organism in any habitat is never an independent unit for example interdependence of the various organism is illustrated by food chains nitrogen and carbon cycles etc uh, are also just biological factors and uh, uh, elements in the ecosystem. In an ecosystem, the living organisms can be identified as producers, consumers or decomposers. Green plants take solar energy and incorporate it in organic compounds that can be used by all living things so they are called as producer or autotrophs that is self eater uh, or feeder so oh, solar so solar energy is trapped by photosynthetic organism or uh, green uh, green plants uh, during photosynthesis which is the power for all living organisms uh, uh, oxygen is a byproduct of the photosynthesis uh, released during uh, photosynthesis and needed by almost all living organisms in order to harvest energy that is ATP from organic compounds like glucose um, protein or uh, so many organic compounds so green plants are the producer of all ecosystems and they are called as autotrophs organisms or uh, self feeders organisms